Good morning. It is June 4th. I just weighed in at 1.38. Woo! Busting the plateau. All right, so here it is. Take the Nutribullet cup, fill the bottom with ice. Take your iced coffee from last night. Put your coffee in it. I'm gonna do the mocha blast shake this morning. I think I made French vanilla coffee last night. Put that in there. Get your attachment like that. <laughs> Make sure it's tight. We've all done that where you didn't tighten it enough. I usually give it a bit of a shake and I'll blend it. All right, here's the morning shake. Yummy. I have a client call in a little bit. We're gonna do a kickoff this morning. I can drink my water, drink my shake, check my emails. Our new box came last night, so we'll do an unboxing later. Um, it's an exciting day. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna go for a little walk this morning with Mo, and normally I would grab a bar, uh, but I'm trying to stay away from the bars this week, so I'm gonna cook up the blueberry biscuit into a waffle. So we're gonna put it in the bowl, and we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of water and a fourth of a cup of egg beaters, and I'm gonna turn it into a waffle. And then I'm going to bring the waffle instead of a bar. See? You don't need a bar. Just bake something. The cookies bake up. The muffins you can bring as portable treats. Um, so if you're trying to do this fat burn blitz and the portable fuelings are making you a little sad, you do got to do a little bit of prep work. Um, so that is a little tricky. Um, but it's, it's not not doable. You got this. All right. Somebody asked me what kind of waffle maker I have. So here's my waffle maker. It is the $15 model that I got at Walmart. It is a full size waffle maker, but it's not fancy. You don't like flip it over or anything. Um, I was actually just looking at it thinking, oh, you look a little rough. And I realized it's almost a year old. I think I have been on this program almost 11 months now. Maybe I could spend another $15 and get a new waffle maker. Um, I bought the Dash at one point, but I don't have any patience to make lots of little waffles. So there wasn't anything wrong with the Dash, but I don't like it. So I just like to make one big waffle. So if you're making waffles, when the green light comes on, you're almost done, but really the key is when the steam co stops coming out of it. So if it's still steaming like that, you're not quite done. It just is almost done. So just give it another minute. All right, a blueberry biscuit waffle. We'll let that cool down, throw it in a Ziploc bag, and now it is hiking food. Woohoo! I'm gonna stop saying woohoo. I think this is box 11. That is so crazy. <clears throat> Not sure what's in here. I'm excited to get it. So let's see what we got in box 11. All right, we got some chocolate chip pancakes. We got a lot of shakes, I think. So we got creamy chocolate shake. Mocha Blast Shake, Strawberry, which I know it wasn't my favorite, but it feels like it's going to be a really nice summer shake. Um, more Mocha Blast Shake, more Chocolate Shake. We got Tropical Fruit Smoothie, again, kind of going with the strawberry. Like, is that going to be awesome for summer? Um, we did the Cinnamon Crunchy O's. Oops. Because um, 
I think cold cereal is gonna get us through some of the summer month. All right, so this for June, very nice. Uh, we got some jalapeno poppers, because we're out of crunchers. Pudding, because I love to end the day with pudding. Um, decadent brownie for the same reason, and chocolate chip cookies. So if you've been following this channel, the day normally ends with either one of those three, pudding, chocolate chip cookie, or brownie. Uh, campfire s'mores bar, because those are just delicious. Sour cream and chive smashed potatoes, because that is a great grilled cheese bread right there. Um, and then just some crunchers. So we got smoky barbecue crunchers and the zesty Italian herb crunchers. All right, so kind of a small box because I realized uh, I had a couple extra boxes kicking around and oh, this was all I really needed to get through June. All right, so we're trying to hit goal, we're trying to get down to 135. Hopefully this box gets us there. All right, I'm off for my hike. Back from my hike with Mo, we had a great time. I had my blueberry biscuit waffle in the middle of the hike with some water. That was excellent. And now we are going to try a new fueling I've never had before. Tropical fruit smoothie. Okay, you might have noticed a theme that most of my fuelings have chocolate. But I thought it might be nice to try something different for summer. So, here we go. We got our Nutribullet with some ice, with just water. Let's see. Hmm, kind of pineapple-y. All right, I'll blend this up. I'll tell you how it went. All right, I put it in this old coffee cup so I can bring it with me over to Kendra's because it's a little early for this fueling right now. Mm. It is definitely different. It's that mango, maybe pineapple. Does it tell me? Filled with fun sun drenched flavors of orange, banana, and real mango. Okay, it's definitely different. It wouldn't be my first choice since it's the 11th month I've been on this program and it's the first time I've ordered this one. But to go sit by a pool, it might be the perfect choice. Okay, and then, um, because I don't know how long I'm gonna be there, I mixed up the decadent brownie and a peanut butter shake and turned that into a waffle. And while I was at it, I threw a little bit of decaf coffee in with the pudding and put that in the fridge. And so, as long as we follow the plan, we should get through day four of the Fat Barn Blitz just perfectly. All right, I'm headed over to Kendra's. I'll bring you with me. I'm back from Kendra's. We had a lovely afternoon. While I was there, I drank the Mango Tropical Shake, and then around three, I had the other half of this chocolate peanut butter waffle. I'm gonna put this in the Ziploc bag for tomorrow. It's nice to have a waffle on hand, especially if you are bar and cruncher free this week. All right, that is good. Uh, we're about to make our leaning greens, so we're gonna do uh, some shrimp on top of the salad, and we're gonna use the guacamole as our healthy fat. I'll let you see it when it's done. Conveniently, we packaged all of our salad greens up at the beginning of the week, so they're ready to go. Uh, these are my individual servings of guacamole, in case you were wondering. Uh, it's a little bit more than one healthy fat. So, here we are. We'll add this. We'll cook up our shrimp. 
And that's what's for dinner. Seven ounces of shrimp, because it's Alina's protein. And we get about a half a cup of mushrooms and peppers to add to our two cups of salad greens in our bucket. All right, here is dinner. I gotta tell you, the fish, I was pleasantly surprised, wasn't that bad. <laughs> but the shrimp is actually truly delicious. One of my favorites. So this is an excellent lean and green. All right, I'll see you back here for the last fueling of the day. Here it is, last fueling of the night. How awesome is it to end your day with a giant bowl of chocolate pudding? Mm. Made this one with the decaf French vanilla coffee, and it is excellent. All right, that concludes day four of the Fat Burn Blitz. I hope you had a great day. I hope you're sticking to it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how you're doing. I really wanna know. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.